let's create a new project for our RNA-seq analysis. Users have the choice of making a new local project, or if they have access to an array server, a new server project. Depending on server settings, users will have to input different levels of data. For this tutorial, I will be using data from CCLE with 40 files, 20 samples of paired in lung and skin cell lines. Once you have filled out all the fields, you can create your new project. To perform the RNA-seq analysis, you can either follow the workflow, run each individual module, or you can run the pipeline. To start the RNA-seq pipeline, we need to first add our raw FASTQ files. The pipeline assumes that these reads have already been filtered and stripped. This can be performed with the Array Studio NGS filtering module. To add our reads, click Add and navigate to your files. In this tutorial, we will use 40 files for 20 samples. Since this is a paired end analysis, we will check the reads are paired box, choose our genome and gene model, can specify the number of threads to be used, and specify any additional alignment settings. Users can also choose which modules to run and name an output name and folder. This analysis can take a long time. On our servers, this analysis took overnight with 20 samples. You can monitor the progress of your analysis in the server jobs window. When the pipeline analysis is complete, you can click Update Project and find all of your new data objects under your project solution. At this point, you can save your project or close the solution to be opened at a later date. Under your solution, you will find several data types. NGS data are pointers to your aligned BAM files Omic data are L-shaped data that contain some kind of quantification along with associated design and annotation data. Table data are simple data formats along with attached views. And you might also have list or other types of data.